Jigsaw is a movie directed by Michael and Peter Sparrick, and it stars Tobin Bell. All right, so I want to introduce myself. My name is Old Magnus Batman, of course, and this is my cousin, Superfan K, who's a partner of mine. He runs in the family. We, our family just love watching movies, so we just talk about Jigsaw. We saw Jigsaw late. And we... So Jigsaw is the eighth installment in the franchise. And this film takes place 10 years after the death of John Kramer, the original Jigsaw killer. After a few people have gone murdered, law enforcement believe that, that these murders are connected to the Jigsaw killer known as John Kramer. Now they're trying to figure out if it's really the John Kramer killer or is it some copycat. To really break this film down, I just gotta say this film had, had lots of bad things going for it, but, but but those bad things negates itself because it's supposed to be bad. Yeah, so pretty much overall this movie was pretty much was little, was, didn't really have much gore than, uh, than, than other films. Notice yeah. that too, huh? Yeah, notice that too. Mm -hmm. And also this film will focus more on the the mystery, the investigation of Ooh, who is Jigsaw? Who is this mysterious killer? <laughs> so really, I couldn't really get emotionally invested into it because it's, it's, it's just really boring. And, and plus the dialogue within the investigation was very cringeworthy. And I just couldn't get into it. Like there's one character who I really admire though, the brother man. I mean, there's a black guy. Who's that? I don't know his name, but he's called. I, I call who, him the Brother Man. Who is the Brother Man? The Brother Man is the black cop. And Give it's me in his, his film. Name. What's the actor's name? <sighs> no, forget the actor. What's the character's name? What is the character's name in the movie? I call him the Brother Man. So you don't know the character's name? The Brother Man. You can't remember the character's name like at all. Not if I just start throwing out random names, are you going to be able to remember it? Mark, Brother Man. Jeff. Brother. Brother Jordan. Man. Brother Man. Uh, J J Jeff again. Brother Man. Susan. Brother Man. He was really good in the film. I re he had a good, he had a good, decent performance. Order. I liked him because you gotta support the Brother Man. <laughs> uh, I'll be honest, I did not care about any of the characters. But again, again, but you're not every, supposed to right, follow the characters. It's one of those movies where it's, it's hard to judge it, it's hard to review it, because all the shit that you would normally complain about in a movie like this... You can't because it's almost like they do it on purpose. There's a few flaws I have with this film. The flaw is that there's one trap that Jigsaw created that relied simply on chance, and usually that didn't really, that that felt out of place. And so oh. pretty much, if this character didn't go in that area, he wouldn't get trapped. <laughs> not as gory as some of the other Saw movies. I'll be honest. I mean, there's there's it's it's not. They hold back a little bit, but you know they they do what they can. They try they try to fit it in. They try to do as enough and. Um, outside of the gore and outside of the mystery, what are you really here for? Uh, I think my biggest issue with this film is that after seven years of waiting for a Saw movie, it didn't really justify why it exists, you know? Like, why did this movie happen? For a paycheck? Money aside, why did they commit to making this film? You look like this movie's making you lose brain cells. Oh, no. no. <laughs> this uh, movie's making you dumb. <laughs> no, no, well. <laughs> why, is he sitting, why is he sitting there looking at the camera? And then the movie, <laughs> you're talking about the movie, and then you just kind of go, Duh. The only thing I can come up with is this movie was pretty much, a, I guess, a, a bad guilty pleasure. You can just watch it when you're as drunk or high, just like you said, and... Um, I mean, it has some bad characters, sit shitty dialogue, and um, cringe really dialogue, by the way. And some bad CGI, and a lot, of, a lot of horror, and the contraptions and traps relied simply on chance with some of the traps. They had some good creativity with the traps, but... Yeah, it, 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 it just characters, just, you know, these characters make bad decisions, but they're supposed to make bad decisions. And the acting is bad, but the acting's supposed to be bad, so it's really... I could, we could rip it apart. We can tear it to sh we can, it's just a, it's a shit stain. But I guess it's supposed to be a shit stain. And that's the thing that probably mind boggles me. So really, I can't really give it a shitty rating. So I gotta give this a guilty pleasure rating of Val Kimmer Batman. Yeah. This is a below average film, a forgettable film, a guilty pleasure. And I think that you could enjoy it. In a, in a, I don't know, maybe. But it's... If I were rating it on my show, I would probably go Smallville. That's my guilty pleasure rating on the Super Fan Show. So Smallville, Val Kilmer, Batman. That's a wrap. <laughs> oh my bad, I accidentally dropped the thing. Oh, Magnus Batman and Super Fan K. I want to play a game.
Shut up! Shut up! Uh, okay. <laughs>